Hey everybody, welcome to Epic Tiki's Tiki Talk Talk Show. This is episode 13. And <laughs> today we have a very special episode. Uh, first of all, I want to share with you guys a fact. This show is filmed over a live volcano. So anything could happen at any time. Like aliens. Anyways, <laughs> let me introduce my guest. Uh, you've seen her around Sacramento doing comedy and stuff like that. And she has a podcast called Belligerently Uninformed. Please welcome Emma Haney. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> Good. How are you? I'm great. Nice. That's That's funny because that's how, like, when on your podcast, when you say it, when Steven's like, and Emma Haney, and you go, hello. Hello. I know. I try and always say it weird. <laughs> that's good. It, it's good to have a, a signature. Yeah, I'm glad know. someone picked up. Yeah. <laughs> I probably, I mean. What? Oh, what don't mind him. Okay. Who's that? That's just my side dick. <laughs> side dick? <laughs> Is that your boy toy? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where'd you get him at? Uh, Home Depot. Oh. If you can tell by the color of his skin. <laughs> He's on loan, so... Oh, it sounds expensive. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, we're gonna do a segment, so I, I mentioned your podcast earlier, Belligerently yes. Uninformed. We're gonna, because Stephen Fury was on the episode. Yeah. Like two episodes ago. And, uh... And that was great. We did Facebook drafts, which is everyone's third <laughs> favorite. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's 10th favorite segment. Yeah. That's the, <laughs> I love it that he does that every time. Yeah, it's like... Then he also, like, when I was on the, on the show, he said something about, like... He said something about, like, yeah, all the orphans like, are craving it. Yeah, he's like, I was walking through it. the streets, and <laughs> I just heard the, the orphans saying, Hi, Capis! Hi, Capis! <laughs> we don't need families! <laughs> <laughs> so genius. Yeah, he's really great. He's I know. a great podcast He's the bodacious runner. personality on there. It was just because it was originally supposed to be me and Mike Patton, and I was like, it just can't be me and Mike Patton because that would be like two dry humors, and it's, everyone falls asleep. So we brought Steven in. <laughs> yeah, he he, audacious he modulates his tone more. <laughs> yeah, me and Mike Patton are too similar. Yeah, he's like a higher pitched, like yeah, hi, I don't know, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a Mike Patton impression. It's <laughs> a great impression. Oh. So, anyways, you said hot capis. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna hot do a capis. hot capis. Do you want to go first? Uh, yeah. <laughs> my first hot capis is. Hold on, there's something in my eye. Take your time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so my first hot capis is um, people who are boring. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm just. No, not I no, know. definitely not you. You're here doing this show. You're not boring. <laughs> but like, there's people I work with, and like, if you're watching the show and I work with you, you're cool because you're. You're actually doing something. You're just practicing. <laughs> so, but there's, like, all these people at my work that just, like, I put up, uh, like, I got this little whiteboard thing. It's green, but it's a whiteboard. You, like, dry erase marker yeah. thing. And I decided, oh, I'm going to put up my tweets that I think are funny that are clean, of course. Yeah. So I put up one that was, like, it was, like, it was a stupid joke. So I, I put hashtag dad joke, and it was something about boogers. And I put it up in the office, like, next to my desk. And it was so people walked by, I could see it. And I come in one day, and this stupid lady, like, that works there, she she put it on my desk with a note. She never talked to me at all. She yeah. just put it up. And she was just, like, inappropriate for the workplace. Ew. And I was like, fuck you, bitch. Like, what are you? You didn't even tell no me. No sense of humor. Yeah. That's the worst. And it's not like I wrote anything terrible. Like, I didn't talk about, like, vaginas or dicks yeah. or dicks going into <laughs> vaginas or vaginas eating dick like i didn't talk about any of that None stuff of that. i was just boogers like what is your problem how boring people are i don't know because in certain situations i can be boring like i just don't talk but it's like people who are constantly just like there's people who like here. it's almost like they're they're actively boring like they're they're like seeking out ways to ruin fun things like uh mike sella <laughs> Oh, Mike Sella. Everyone talks. Everyone brings out a beef for someone. I need to have one beef. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> should be. be we'll It'll start be a segment called uh, Beefs. Who's got then... beef? <laughs> yeah. um, what's your hot capis? Uh, my hot capis is people with poor oral hygiene. Like Ooh. flossing and shit. Because I've been noticing a lot more, like more and more people aren't flossing their teeth. And it's bug. <laughs> I don't know, because I'm hella weird about my teeth. But it's like, it's hard to talk to someone when they have like wool socks on their teeth. You know what? what I mean? Like the plaque that like, oh, you've never yeah. seen people like that. 
That happens. Your teeth are nice. Oh, thank you. I know. <laughs> you have great teeth as well. Thank you. I pride myself on my gum game. Gum game? My that gum was, game. That was like an accident, but it worked out. I know. You were was. like trying to say game, but then you, I don't know. It, it was worked. good. I liked it. <laughs> but yeah, so it just bugs me. I yeah. don't know. It's well, like, then I'd probably bug you because I'm really bad about flossing. Really? Yeah, but today I flossed for the first time in like two years. Oh, wow. Ooh. I brush my teeth every day, <laughs> and I I do mouthwash all the time. I know, but there's like there's like stuff in your oh, gums. Oh, I know, though. I know. Yeah, that's know. the only reason I do it. It's like ugh, it's like death. Did you fart or? Oh no, that's him. <laughs> there's like an like, orca a in big, the pool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is this water? Salt water? No. Hmm. Break like I'm oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm really sweaty. <laughs> I actually exclusively bathe in this pool, so. Do you really? <laughs> no. <That'd be> sick. <laughs> He's like, my mouth was open in there. <laughs> yeah. Plot twist. It's all just sweat. Plot twist. It's all just sweat. That explains the sting. <laughs> in, my in my eyes. I'm not even underwater. <laughs> the vapors. The vapors. Oh, the vapors. <laughs> it tastes like Gatorade. It tastes like Gatorade. Gatorade's delicious. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, but I, yeah, bad gums. Bad gums, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just I could never be a dentist. Like I just imagine, like just like because you you see everything as the dental hygienist or dentist. That rhymes, and um, <laughs> yeah. that would suck. Like it's just some people open their mouths and they're just like nasty, like mold in there. Uh, so I don't I don't yeah. even know like what could be in there. I'm sure you could Google it and just like freak yourself out. And I'm afraid to do. They that show kind of like in my dentist office, they have like a real on like their TV of just shitty ass teeth. Oh and, really? Like, them fixing it and making dentist them nice. office is this? It's a f- I my dentist is so weird. He shakes and he'll like what? <laughs> like yeah, he How old shakes. Is he? He's like, probably in his like late or early 40s. He's not that old. Shit. And he, I think he's just nervous like he's not a people Michael person. He has yeah, Michael J Fox. He's just uh. but he like and he'll always go nice nice teeth beautiful teeth and i'm like this is the creepiest thing i've ever done if he ever puts you under he might harvest your teeth you wake up and no one's there he's not gonna get me (laughs) creep well i'm saying if the nicer they are the more he might want them oh yeah he might just yank them out freak put them in his mason jar (laughs) he just got a jar look at my teeth (laughs) jingle 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 jingle. yours are next (laughs) so gross (laughs) He's Hanging boring. from the ceiling. Yeah. Oh god, that's terrible. Fingernail jar too. Yeah. Fingernail jar. It's oh. like Hannibal Lecter or whatever. Or no, the guy with the put the lotion in the basket. It's like put oh, the mouth. Bill. Yeah. <laughs> he makes know. like a like a little voodoo doll out of teeth. He's like, this is you, but it's your teeth, so it's literally <laughs> you, but it's not. <laughs> well, oh. this has been Hot Capus. Yeah. Epic Tiki edition. Uh, mm-hmm. So, uh, do you have any plugs? Um, I have the podcast, Belligerently Uninformed. It's very funny. Seriously. iTunes and Stitcher. It's on those two. Or the website. Yeah, check it out. That's good. Hopefully, we're supposed to move to America's Comedy soon, too, dot com, and that'll be cool. Anything else? Do you have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook? Um, I just have a Twitter, Emma, at Emma M. Haney, and then Facebook. I don't do Instagram. Okay. So, I don't do pictures. (laughs) But, yeah. That's it. Anyways, do you have plugs? Oh, this? I mean, yeah. <laughs> watch this episode. <laughs> watch it three times. Yeah. We need the views. Uh, yeah. Other than that, oh. uh, my Twitter at Captain Arg, um, Instagram. I'll put that. It's over there. Look at it. Uh, Facebook. You know the deal. It doesn't matter. This is this is for you, the oh. guests. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's the show, I guess. It was a good time. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me. Awesome. (laughs) Bye, guys.